All right, what's going on everybody? Davy Mail Stacks here. I've got a ton of mail. Let's rip right through it and jump right into it. See what I've been buying. I have no idea what's in here, so let's have at it. All right, this is part of my $20 flip challenge. Probably not my best buy, but I just thought, you know, color match, number one seed going into the tournament, Kylan Boswell. We'll see, but this was like two bucks, so I'm just hoping I can kind of flip this for like four or five. Right now, I'm trying to sell a lot of my stuff just to get my cash balance up, and then I can focus on bigger dollar amounts. I think I'm at about $60 in total, so I feel pretty good about where I'm at uh, with my inventory and my cash balance. All right, Jacoby Brissett, orange. This is the 249, 299. Just signed with New England yesterday. I'm optimistic that he'll be the starter for New England come week one, even if they draft a rookie. Just more of a speculative play. You know, a week ago they were saying they could sign him, and they did. So, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news, but for this, you know, I think Brissett is a decent hold going into the year. Okay, so this I just realized was a, a mistake order by me. I thought this was a green ice. This is just the regular green, but in the listing it had like green, hyper, purple, cracked ice, all of kind of the, a bunch of different parallels. So mistake by me, 350 down the drain, but a cool color match, but I thought it was a green ice, green ice short printed. All right, James William Orange Bowman U at a Sapphire, 25 to 25. He ran an awful 40, him and Cam Kinchins, both ran like a 465 or a 485, the slowest out of safeties. I think it was 465, 85 is very slow, but yeah, the worst time out of the safeties, both had the same exact time. I believe in both of them. I think Cam is probably the best safety in the class and James is also a very good uh, safety as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in the draft. I think he'll be, you know, compared to where his prices are, a sleeper. So I got this orange color match for about like eight bucks, which I thought was a steal. All right, little Mason Smith gold auto. This is the true gold number to 50. The gold lavas are to 75. Been buying a lot of Mason Smith. This was like five or six bucks. I watched it and the guy kept dropping his price and it wasn't a card that I needed. Not a huge best guy, but for six, seven bucks, I thought that was, you know, time to pull the trigger. Next one up, Israel Abanaconda, Orange Ice. I love the Orange Ice, Fanatics exclusive on their blasters. Guy that I believe in, we'll see what happens with that uh, running back situation, if they draft someone as well. But Brees Hall, kind of the guy, but I hope Abanaconda gets his chance this year. All right, nice one here, Omarion Hampton. This is the pro set, it's unlicensed, but I just really like the color-ish match or the cracked ice parallel on this. Really clean for me, number 215. I think I got this for about $18. Might have overpaid, but really clean auto as well. He should be one of the best running backs in the country this year. I just tried to pull the painter's tape off and the top loader just snapped. Uh, but Jaden Delora, yellow sapphire for the PC. Um, I bought a yellow according to the listing a few weeks ago and ended up being a gold. It looked like a yellow in the listing, but um, it was in fact gold. So needed the yellow, picked this one up. So just chasing the rainbow on that one. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be a mistake by me or the seller. Three Hendon Hooker mosaics. I've been buying Hendon Hooker, but this was one of those like another quantity pick your parallel or whatever. And I could have sworn these were like blues or like a, a hollow or silver. These are just base on the listing. It says prism and hol prisms and hollows, 322 hen and hooker. So I don't know, I'll have to reach out. I paid like three bucks a piece and these are just the base cards. You can probably get them for about a dollar or two. So um, definitely not what I would have paid 10 bucks for. So we'll look into this. All right, Kenneth Walker here on this one. Orange ice, short print. I don't know how much I paid for this. I've been buying so much NFL prism, but wanted a piece of that and starting running back uh, in Seattle. So. We'll see. All right, more orange ice. Chuba Hubbard, maybe the starting running back in Carolina. I imagine they draft someone, but I just thought this was too cheap not to grab for potential. Again, orange ice. I can't imagine I paid more than two bucks on this, so gonna take a stab at it. Why not on some of these, you know, better parallels that I like? It, it's hard to go wrong on those. All right, this was also part of my $20 flip challenge. Quinn Ewers, one of one. This is the unsigned proof. So I think I got this for eight. I just think it's something super liquid I could relist for 15 and kind of double up my money on. Even if it's 12 at this point, if I can just make three or four bucks, get out of it, move my money, I'm fine with that. All right, some more orange ices here, all rookies. Uh, Zach Charbonnet, I really liked him out of UCLA. Didn't get a lot of usage, I don't think, last year, but something to think about. Darnell Washington, maybe he sees a year two spike, more of a blocker, but 
Uh, we'll see what happens there. And then Jonathan Mingo, really liked him in the pre-draft process, was a beast at Ole Miss. I bought into him pretty heavily when the Luminance Autos came out, but didn't really do much. So just figured, I think this was like four or five bucks shipped on, on all three of those. All right, more Brissette. This is the red cracked ice to 75. I think I got this for like eight-ish bucks. Not bad for a color match, low numbered. You know, something out of what, 2016? You're just not gonna find these cards a whole lot. So, uh, but when I saw that there were reports that they could sign them, I'm like, hey, that kind of makes sense. And uh, so far it's worked out. All right, more Banaconda Purple Ice. I love the Purple Ice. These are out of 225 right there. Uh, just super cheap for a super cool parallel. So I figure why not stash those? All right, these were all stuffed in one, uh, penny sleeve here, but Bronny James, been buying Bronny James a little bit when I find it super cheap. I just think more on the like cultural and hype side of, of LeBron, I guess I'm buying into it. I just think the market's always gonna be there for Bronny. I think he'll come back next year and improve his draft stock. So we'll see, they throw in some hand hit all goes. Um, I'll definitely keep those. These are you know definitely, I think some base cards worthy of holding. All right, Omarion Hampton, once again, gold, one of one right there up at the top. I think I paid a little strong on it, but of course it's a one of one. I might've paid closer to 20 on it. I'm gonna take my chance. I do like Omar and Hampton. And I've mentioned it before. You look at North Carolina's schedule, it looks pretty dang easy. So we'll see. All right, a uh, fun one here, Carnell Tate. This is the on it blackout insert. Really cool set. I really do like it. A little off centered on the bottom there, but Carnell was a five-star kid, one of the top receivers in the country last year. I don't know if he played a whole lot, but I think this is the year that you know they expect him to take the jump. Him and a Brandon Innes. Uh, we'll see what happens. And Amika Buka comes back for his final year. So I don't know. Again, just a lot of these are we'll see plays. It's all about speculation and trying to make a play here. So I think I paid about 25-ish for this and they were doing about 40-ish maybe. I don't remember, but it was worth it. It's only card, so I'll take a shot. All right, Rocco Beck, Red Auto at a Leaf Draft. Somewhere on maybe the checklist, or at least I've seen it on Com C, the Reds are to 75. There's no official numbering, but I guess just probably on the checklist there only making 75 of them. So uh, nice little auto there, not on card. So I don't know, you know, why 75, but I think I got this for a pretty decent price. A guy that I'm holding on to, Iowa State returns like 20 of their starters. So something to look out for, for sure. All right, this is a sick one here. Rondale Moore select gold, number to 10 and it's jersey number four of 10. I got this for maybe 25 bucks. I think this is a decent buy. Can't go wrong buying gold but color match as well, or jersey match as well, I think also helps. We'll see what happens with that offense. Seems like Marquise Brown is getting shipped out. I'm a big Michael Wilson guy. It seems like they'll draft Michael or Marvin Harrison if they, you know, if everything falls according to plan. It seems what, what is likely to happen. We'll see, but I like the gold, you know, being local to Arizona as well. I, I could see myself moving that pretty quickly at the state show as well. Ah, nice. I bought this a while ago. Jalen Daniels Sapphire Auto. I have a, a good amount of the base Sapphire, but not a lot of, no, no autos. Um, so I think this was like 35, 36 shipped. I think it was fine. Um, his autos don't really pop up a lot. Sapphire Autos, you're just not seeing a lot. So I really liked that one uh, to add for my uh, investment uh, portfolio, I guess you could say. It's gambling. All right, so as I was talking about Michael Wilson, how I really like him, I picked up this lot for about 20 bucks shipped. I think they threw in some extras. It was just four Michael Wilson cards. Um, the orange disco, these are out of Target Blasters. Uh, the purple power to 49, I like that one. The auto, which was doing about 10 to 15 or so, and then just a paper Don Russ there. Looks like they threw in a Paris Johnson. He had a good year out of Ohio State. BJ Ojulari out of LSU, and then Zach Ertz. Just signed somewhere. I don't know where. Number to 60, pretty low numbered. I forgot where he signed. All right, so here I picked up a pretty sizable lot of one of my favorite players, uh, Hannah Hidalgo. Bunch of sapphires. I think I got 32 of these for like 130 ish bucks, averaging out about four, what is that, five bucks a piece. 32 of these. Um, you know, I paid up for it, but I'm buying the floor. I just think this is a good price. These are holds for me. We'll see if any of them are gradable. I think that would be a nice, easy flip. You know, I, hopefully they weren't inspected before, but of course when you're 
um, buying this much volume. Uh, maybe, you know, they ripped a ton and they already did their grading inspection or it's like, hey, these are base cards. I was only chasing the big hits for the grading. Maybe those are gradable. I don't know, we'll see. All right, they, they taped two top loaders together and put the card in between, not just in a top loader, but uh, Miller Moss, Auto, Leaf, Mojo, three of 15. I think this is my second or third copy. I'm just buying them up for speculation, just a quarterback in Lincoln Riley's offense. I'm not a huge fan. He had six touchdowns against Louisville and his prices spiked and they've kind of maintained their value. Who knows? We'll see, they've got a loaded wide receiver room, but I just think it's similar to maybe like a Shadur Sanders. That's kind of what I see. I think it's worth just the gamble just to see what happens. So been buying into that. So that's everything, huge mail day. Lots of stuff, a lot of NFL prism. I know you guys are probably happy about that. Uh, if you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.